So I'm Rafael Martinez, and I am leading the technical team in the Global Partnership for Education. It's a partnership and a fund, and we're working with uh, different type of stakeholders, civil society, development agencies, governments, of course, always under the, the, the leadership of the governments, the private sector as well. Um, and we are trying to incentivize uh, evidence-based policy dialogue so um, we come up together with policies and plans for the development of the education sector and for the matters that uh, interest us, um, what we call now climate smart education systems. Um, the challenges that we're facing right now is that um, from where I stand, we have a long record of uh, preparing the education systems for adapting to climate threats and disasters and also for um, mitigating those effects. So we know pretty much what are the evidence of what works, what doesn't work. Uh, we know the costs, so we can make investments that are relevant and effective. But where we're lacking a bit of depth is how um, learning outcomes do contribute to climate action. And so we assume um, that there's a big role for education to play for preparing the world of the future um, and equipping the students with the green skills to become active citizen and agent for change. But the evidence base is lacking in a way, and um, we don't know exactly where we need to make the effective investments. There's a lot of trial and errors, and we're doing a lot, the global community. But what we need to do right now is documenting all of those efforts and learning from that. So that's a hard question. Uh, my background is um, educational planning, so I should have a forward-looking perspective on things. Um, I'm not sure because I'm still not fortune teller as much as I would love to be. I, I, I don't know, I mean, I'm just seeing that there is a big movement right now of um, education actors being much more vocal about how education is important for tackling the climate crisis together or alongside the learning crisis, which is huge. Um, at personal level, I would say that as a mother of two uh, young kids of nine and ten years old, uh, I've been learning a lot in terms of climate change and adaptation through them because in their curriculum, they've been taught much more than I used to be taught when I was a few decades ago at school. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I'm hoping that in five to ten years, um, all of the kids in school will learn how to protect their planet, how to be green agents, and would in turn teach their parents.